Cape Gunworks. Toby Leary here from Cape Gunworks. It's Toby Leary here from Cape Gunworks. It's Toby from Cape Gunworks here, and I'm a firm believer that you should cycle through your carry ammo every once in a while. This is a really cool gun. Cool little double stack. And these guns are really cool because one gunsmith makes them from start to finish. out pretty well so I'm very impressed with it I can't wait to get some more rounds down range so thanks for tuning in all right we are live from New York it's Wednesday night and we're not in New York but that's all right so Welcome everybody and hope everyone's doing well and James is saying hello from rainy and stormy North Carolina Well, I'm sorry. It's rainy and stormy there, bud But it was beautiful here for the morning and then it got a little windy and now it's overcast So maybe you're sending some of that up our way. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but it uh, it could be and We never got an email from the dude who won the free sweatshirt yesterday. Did we? All right, so I forget his name, Lucas or something. We'll have to look him up through the stream and find out who it was. Whoever got that right, because he has to get one of these, and I'm rocking the new edition today. The, today. The, uh, the gray. Gray is my favorite color. Um, just ask the Counting Crows. And uh, I like it. It's cozy. It's nice, and I'm, I'm nice and cozy. So... We got the gray sweatshirts in stock and uh, pretty happy to be with you guys today. And Tom, good to see you, bud. And uh, yeah, look at those threads. Good to see you, Matt. We got to get on the ice one of these days, huh? It's been way too long. I don't even know if I'm going to remember how to ice skate. And uh, our beer league is going to look more like farm, you know, the learn to skate <laughs> rec league or something. But when we all get back on the ice, a bunch of us old geezers. But anyway... Uh, so yeah welcome happy to see you all and we got some cool stuff lined up for you uh did you put aside all the new uh the newest ones did you upload a bunch of new guns it's listed if they go to that auction link it's listed by um date yeah date okay but so you have all the guns that you put up there today yeah. set aside so i can do a quick and dirty review on that yeah. all right sweet so we're going to go over that i got some products i want to show you guys some stuff coming in um, we got uh, important hearing taking place in 30, 25 minutes. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to jump on a conference call with our lawyer at 7.30 tonight, if you want to jump on that. Uh, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, Terry loves the new shirts. Awesome. Uh, so what are, we pri what are the prices on these bad Larrys? Do you know? 45 on the 45 on the zip sweatshirts that I'm rocking out in. I think the $18 for the t-shirts and your choice black or gray. And uh, we have black or gray on the sweatshirts as well. 21 for the long sleeve? 22 for the long sleeve, but I don't know how many of those we even have. I don't think we have any left. Just snowflake. Yeah, just the snowflake, which is 25, I believe. So anyway, we'll get the prices up on the on the web uh, most of them are up on the website so that's good um, that's what I've been told so good deal I say it and it happens it's amazing thanks to the good people like Roy getting it together for us um, so it looks like YouTube's are like zoned out or something they don't want to be involved today so they're just kind of quiet just quietly watching so that's all right they can do that and I like the zippers too uh, I always was a pullover guy, and I like them, especially doing these live broadcasts. I've, I like the zippers for the place to attach the, uh, the microphone, so that's, that's hopefully uh, good. And Richard said he checked out the auction. Items looked good, great. If you have any questions, we're hoping I answer the questions as I present the guns, but I get it. There's going to be someone that has to know about a serial number or, you know, who owned it and, you know, if there's any holster wear and all that. But I'm hoping to review all that as we go. And that'll be uh, the answer to your questions. But 
anyway, we'll see how that goes. Oh, Nate has a special delivery here. And that's a good round number. That's with the discount? Yes, sir. All right, so check it out. Nate put one of these Kelty backpacks together, and this is his bug out bag. He's, I asked him to put together the Nate bug out bag. I might have had a little influence on it. I said it had to have certain things. And uh, so he packed this sucker full of stuff, and he gave me a price, which is 10% off everything in this bag, and it's 703.73. So I'm gonna go ahead and round this down to 700 bucks. I'm gonna take off the $3.73. I'll take it out of Nate's pay. So, um, so anyway, what, you don't like that idea? Oh, all right, maybe not. But anyway, I thought it was a good idea at the time. So we might go with that, but we'll see how, how it works. So anyway, I have these Kelties in red and green, and do we have any other color? I think they're just red and green. Red, green, and gray, my favorite color. Yeah. I've really warmed up to gray in the last couple of years. I don't know what's wrong with me. This is green, or this is blue. This is blue. Yeah, this is blue. <laughs> was I saying it was green? Yeah, this is blue. Yeah, all day. I don't know where. <laughs> They're checking me here, fact checking me. They're like, that's not blue, green. No, and you're right. So, so, yeah, I think somebody should buy this as a mystery bag. The mystery bug out bag with $700 worth of stuff. And that's a full 10% off. What do you guns? think? Is, oh, I can't even reveal if there's any guns in it. But um, you'd have to believe if it's a bug out bag. All right, Mark's on the YouTube and he's listening. He didn't say if it sounded good or not. But. All right, so Brendan just revealed that there's at least one gun in here. So... Um, do we want to sell it as a mystery bag or do I want to break it all out and show you guys what's in it? It's up to you. I would say if there's a brave soul out there that trusts our judgment, buy, the, buy it in the next... Oh, and he also put this stuff to go along with it because it didn't quite fit, but he wanted it to be included. So if you bug out and you make a campfire, you can brew yourself some Black Rifle coffee and you can drink it in your Stanley cold pint but it also takes hot so go figure but the neat thing about this is if you do bring a cold beverage it has a built-in bottle opener so you can open up your uh barks root beer or your uh beverage of choice and pour it into this uh stanley cold pint so anyway those do come with the mystery package so jason says he's in and he'll take one all right so give us a call Let's do it. I think you'll be very happy with what's in here. Plus, you get an outstanding value. And uh, I like the fact that you're up for a challenge. Um, and uh, so, Jason, just give us a jingle, and uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, yeah, our prayers are standing by. And I'm sure we could rig up another one for anyone else who wants to do it. And then maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a reveal later. We'll do like a, you know, it'll be kind of like a gender reveal at the end of the show, we'll show you guys what's in it. But, you know, we'll say, uh, all right, the blue bag, or, yeah, the blue bag has all this stuff and the red bag has all this stuff. I don't know. We'll get creative with it. It's kind of fun, right? Uh, Matthew Jones is already asking, what's in it? What's in it? So he needs to know. He's one of those guys who needs to know. And, uh, but anyway, that's all right. We'll see. Uh, we'll, we might reveal. All right. Is that first aid kit next to me for sale? Yes. And he says, I sound great. Um, these are awesome first aid kits. They're my favorite because uh, someone who's real important to the shop here, Rick Todd, who is a lifetime EMT, and he's also a guy who trains other EMTs, and he trains police officers, and he is like, you know, the man when it comes to this. He does our CPR class. He does our Stop the Bleed class. And so he puts these together. They're called the Tactical First Aid Kit in this nice little molly bag, has a cool little carabiner attached to it. And basically you open this up and it has everything you need should the crap hit the fan. Uh, you got your tourniquet right here, you got your rubber gloves, you got your scissor to open up and cut away pants and garments. You got some high fin chest seals in the back right here. You got plenty of compression bandage and gauze. You got some new stat. Uh, hemostatic ta uh, tactical bandage. You got the trauma bandage right there to wrap it all up and apply pressure. And you got some uh, 
basic, basic first aid stuff in here. Some uh, band-aids for the boo-boos and, and uh, what is this? Oh, you got a little pen to write on your, uh, little marker to write on your, the time on your tourniquet when you put it on. And uh, yeah, so we got the, we got uh, the minor boo-boos in there, but for the most part, I think that these type of tactical kits or, or you know, gunshot trauma kits or, you know, emergency trauma kits are really important to keep handy. You can put one in the glove box, center console, or the trunk of your car. Anytime you're doing any type of shooting activity, you should have one of these handy. Uh, if you're out on the range doing some drills or doing some tactical training or what whatnot, or even if you're hunting or going camping and there's a firearm in the camp or, you know, on the hunt with you, you should have something like this, especially if you're in the back country and you might need to keep yourself alive for a while this is a important piece of kit and it has the molly attachments so it could attach right to a bag like a like a um you know your bug out bag or a, or a uh one of your like uh, the one i use is the everly stock so it would attach right to it but if you get any type of outdoorsy bag with molly attachments this will fit right to it or you could use that carabiner and clip right to it and just let it hang and so have it with you at all times so it's a really really good kit and these are 169 bucks um, which is a good value for everything you get in it um, but it's a must-have in my opinion if you're going to be out in the woods shooting or hunting or plinking or camping or also you probably are more likely to use this than your firearm and that's something that people don't often think stop and think about but um if you think about it you know we spend money and take tactical classes we take defensive shooting classes we take carbine classes we take shotgun classes we take gun cleaning classes we take all the gun classes that we can afford with time money and effort and energy and we should that's important if you're going to carry a gun out beyond the four walls in the real world you should take a class on how to uh, how to use the gun in a safe and efficient manner. This is something that statistically you're more likely to use than your gun. Just the statistics of it, just the facts. So this is a really good piece of kit. It doesn't have all the extra stuff. It doesn't have the bee sting and the, you know, the, uh, the bomb and the whatever, all the stuff that you don't need this is a major wound trauma kit but if you come up on a car accident you might need something like this or you see some biker go over the handlebars and cut their arm open or something and need to need to uh need to you know help them out this would be a good thing to have uh this is 169.99 uh james so uh yeah <laughs> he said never mind what did that go with your thing yes. all right and someone just call yeah all right cool so we, we might do a reveal or we might have you put another one together i don't know so we're, we're just going to have fun with it so if you guys like the uh the mystery of it all i don't blame you it's pretty cool but it's all stuff i would be happy to have and probably do have most of it so it's uh it's one of those things that you know it's yeah it's in the trunk of nate's car uh, so anyway that's uh i'm glad you asked mark because yes those medical kits are very important and they're very um, good to have so anyway let's uh you want to go mobile and go do the gun dog and pony show in the other room yeah sure all right let's um, do it I um, was going to make a poll out, too. I want to ask the people if they'd be interested in, if we offer delivery. Interested if we do delivery. James, would you be interested if we did delivery? <laughs> James is in North Carolina. He'll be like, hell yeah, send me a box at 22, and let me get a, I'll take a, I'll take one of those tourniquet packs, and yeah, can you deliver it by tomorrow at 3? <laughs> we'll send Roy on the road. He'll get down there at some point. And by the way, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm out of my polar beverage. It's not good. It's just, it's, it's a crisis. It is an absolute crisis. And I haven't officially made Cape Gunworks a place like I have in my own personal home where we're not allowed to run out of polar beverage. But we have the word out to polar that we need to get their product in here in the store and I give them way too much free advertising and it's time we got to get some. So anyway, uh, Ferguson Lance is wondering what 
happen today in court. All the arguments are due in court today at five. The judge wanted to have everything back to him today from both sides at five. So that hasn't happened yet. And I will be on a conference call with my lawyer at 7.30 tonight to find out what happened today at five. So that's the long and short of it. So wait until you guys see this. Look at, all, look at all that ammo, but look at all this space. Doesn't it look great? It's amazing. We've freed up so much space in here. The place feels like the 20,000 square foot facility that it is. Got plenty of uh, 5.56 five, still, of those 1,100 round ammo cans. If you guys want one of those, we've got a bunch left. And uh, those are 4.99 an ammo can. You get the 50 caliber ammo can and you get uh, 50 round boxes in there. And uh, we got some of those beautiful vault cases by Pelican. I love them more than the uh, original Pelicans, but we have some of the original Pelicans as well. The 750, 1750 cases with the wheels and all that good stuff. But I just like the, uh, the way they put these uh, latches on them. You push the button and they come right up. Whereas the old Pelican case, it's like you'd almost, you know, break a knuckle trying to open them sometimes when they're really hard. Uh, they freed them up quite a bit, but I still think the other uh, the other latch is a much better latch. So anyway, got lots of space in here now, and uh, we've really moved some stuff around and made it look amazing. So I can't wait to throw the doors open and make it even more amazing with people in here. So uh, Roy, I left Roy in the dust. He's following. All right, so. So all of these ones. All of which ones? These down here? Yeah, so this is the end done. All right, but we left off yesterday. We left off around. Right, right here. Yeah. All right, so this is one that we got to talk about. So I'll work my way down if you want to grab the, sure. grab this. All right. So I'm going to let the guns talk for themselves. I'm going to let the products speak for themselves. Now, I got some criticism yesterday from Josh. I don't know if he's on today, but he's like, dude, you're killing me, bro. Like, I can't even see the product because your mitts are in the way. So, and he said it just like that. It was over text and I could hear his, you know, I could hear his inflection just through my text. So anyway, today I'm gonna try and do a better job and get those petite lady hands from QVC and try to, you know, let the product be the star of the show, which it is. The product is always the star of the show. Like this Colt Officer's Match model. And back when revolvers ruled the shooting game, this was a primo gun for competition. Um, the Colt Officer's Model Match. And this is a 38 Special. And it would, you know, obviously has this thumb shelf grip. So you could shoot fast and shoot accurate and this one is used but it's in really really good shape this one will be on the website well it is on the website and it'll be live tomorrow oh, with us it's live now yep. with a start of 1400 and uh it'll be on there for seven days it's a great deal comes with the box um so we have the colt officer's model match revolver six inch barrel in the box with some accessories, sighted Colt sight adjustment tool, the brush, the original target. So you can see the dead on accuracy of this gun. And when you shoot, when you shoot wad cutters, that's what it looks like. So anyway, that was from arm rest in with wad cutters, six o'clock hold, 15 yards. Sweet. So Five shots, 15 yards, good deal on that. <clears throat> and so this was 1963. So gallery competition, cool pistol for that. Hopefully I got my big mitts out of the way and you saw that uh, really nice gun and has adjustable rear sight. Anyway. That's the Colt Officer's Match. You don't see those every day. You know what? I've never had one of those come through the store, so I'm, I'm kind of grooving in the fact that we got some guns that I've never had before. This is a really beautiful uh, Smith & Wesson model 27-2, which is 
like the size of the 29, but it's a 357 Magnum instead of 44 mag. And this gun is really, really nice. I would say, uh, you know, this one's not new or unfired by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually in need of a little bit of a cleaning, but I don't see a mark on this gun. It is in really great shape. There's no holster wear down at the tip. There's no handling marks. There's no scratches. There's no uh, nicks. Even the grips are, you know, just pristine, real sharp checkering and uh, very, very nice shape. There might be a little nick or two on this side down here low on the, on the just under the check, checkering, but there's no chips. A lot of times you'll see chips on the sharp surface of the grip where it got hit a bench or something. There's no chips in the finish. You know, it's really, really clean. It needs a good cleaning, like I said, but this gun is beautiful. It's one of the classics, the Smith Model 27-2. This looks like an eight inch barrel and uh, has the original box, um, has some paperwork and uh, little accessories, the original uh, waxy paper wrapper. I guess there's not accessories, but the waxy paper wrapper. And uh, there's the original box for it, so. Can they read the note that's in there? Yeah, oh really? The note's funny? I mean, it's, he's, he's very picky. So the, the owner was very picky, so he said, rear sight, blade loose, cylinder, uh, bolt, failed to operate while dry firing occasionally. Could not make it not function. So he couldn't get it to not function. But these were his little notes. He sent stuff back to the manufacturers. He was very, very particular. And uh, so he would, he would send them back with these little, little notes and say, you know, this happened, this happened. And, you know, they would probably get sick of hearing them from him. But as a result, everything is tight as a drum. And he ended up getting a, the gun that he wanted. So it was cool. And in one case, uh, we, I think I already mentioned it a couple days ago when we were showcasing another gun. He sent it back and said the color was off. And they sent it back and said, no, it's within our, that's the color of our gun. Sorry. But he was probably not happy that they didn't feel his way, that the color was off. So anyway, um, this is a Ruger Old Army. It's a black powder pistol, so no paperwork. I could ship this one to your door. You don't even have to wait for us to open. If you're into the black powder game, this might be a fun little gun for you to have. So that's how you press the, uh, press the round into the cylinder after you put the powder in and the lead ball. And then um, you just advance it to the, uh, to the next spot and just crimp them all down. So you take the cylinder out first and uh, you put all the powder and the balls in and then you crimp it down or I guess you could do it right here in the gun and just spin it to the next spot and crimp it down so and then you uh, prime it right here on this side so you just put the cap on there as you spin it around and yep ready to go so this is a 44 I believe let's see 40 I don't know doesn't say anywhere or my eyes are just failing me. Found out yesterday I wear old guy shoes and finding out today that I have old guy eyes. So let's see, this is 45 caliber. So it's a 45 caliber ball, uh, cap and ball pistol. Beautiful reproduction and just in good shape. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been shot. It certainly doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't have any powder residue anywhere. And uh, this gun will be on uh, the web for 500 bucks and we can ship it to your door because it's not a regulated item. The Smith Model 27, I forgot to mention, is going to be starting out at 1500 bucks. So that's on there um, as well and it's live if you guys are interested in enhancing your Smith & Wesson collection, that'd be a good gun to have. All right, here's a beautiful gun that we have sold a ton of in our shop. I have sold a bunch of these, mostly online. The local crowd may or may not um, you know, collect these, but it seems like some of these older collections I get a lot. There's always one of these in the collection. In this case, I think there's three in the collection, but this, this particular one is the nicest one we're selling. This is the one we're going to start with, and uh, it's 1500 bucks. Comes with the case, the, the gun, all the original stuff, extra magazine. Um, it has the, the 
bull barrel weights under here, the competition weights. You, you got three different weights it comes with. And if you want to take the weights off altogether, then you can put this wooden fore end on and uh, it looks pretty cool. So the Browning Metalist was again, one of the higher end competition pistols for gallery shooting and uh, still a relevant gun if you were to shoot pistol league or, or match, you know, or if you just want something to enhance your collection. It's a really, really nice gun. It's a Belgium made Browning. Uh, so this one is called the Metalist, has the, Belgium, uh, has the Browning gold trigger, has two mags, the case, and these even came with the uh, original wood blocks that came from the factory to set up your 22s in so you could load your mags during the match and you'd have all your rounds staged and ready to go. And pretty neat gun. Um, 1500 bucks is a good deal for this particular one and that quality and whatnot. So anyway, this is a Colt single action army. Um, someone has already been waiting to see this. Uh, this is the single action army in 44 caliber and it's a Gen 2 uh, with the original box. All the paperwork, the hang tags, the warranty card, the target, uh, the manual, and even a nice little letter from Colt that says you are now the proud owner of a Colt firearm. So on and on a little history of the of the company and whatnot, so that's pretty sweet. This gun is new in the box. Um, it is not been handled much. It's got the wax paper that it came with covering the covering the cylinder. And look at the color case on this gun. This is a beauty. It is just minty. There's no line around the cylinder from people dry firing it and caulking the hammer nonstop. It is as new in the box as it comes. Still has the hang tag. And uh, this is a beautiful single action army and 44 special. Uh, so just a gorgeous little gun. I've always loved the single action army. This is the classic, you know, firearm, classic revolver, if you ask me. Samuel Colt knocked it out of the park with this design. And uh, I think he, de he designed the cylinder and the action of the single action guns while he was like 13 years old, carved it on a ship while he was like on some ship some vessel and he's on board board and he came up with the hammer and the cylinder for his pistols uh, for his revolvers on a ship when he was 13 years old so but yeah he really knocked it out of the park with this i mean it's just not a gun that's more classic in my opinion when you think of uh, old revolvers single action army is certainly right there in the number one position and then you might think about some of the smith and wesson double action revolvers if or the colt python or something like that if you get into the more modern revolvers but these are the ones that won the west you know this was the quintessential cowboy gun so new in box and this will be started at oh boy you didn't value this one yet did you put it on? Yeah, Mark told me the price of that. You know, you're forgetting too the, the formula that you told me to use with the hundred off. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, so all the prices I said are wrong. They're actually going to be lower. lower than that to, to start. Starting That's off. cool. So what we're doing is basically starting out at the lowest that we're willing to accept for the gun, and you know, that's we're willing to say, okay, if it sells for this, we're okay with that, but. Frankly, if we were to put it in the case, they'd be a little higher, at least 100 bucks, in some cases 50 bucks if it's a lower price gun. All of the guns I just talked about will be 100 bucks lower than what I said. Like this uh, Colt Officers will be 1300, not 1400. This Model 27 will be 1400. This will be 1400. And that, uh, that Old Army uh, revolver, the Ruger Old Army will be 400 bucks. So. Um, yeah, if you want to bid on those, they're right on the website and good to go. And do you remember how much this is up there for? Um, let's see here. So that one was 15. Started at 13. Yeah, I, that sounds low to me for a Colt single action army. I don't know. You can look. Whatever it is, it is. It's on there. Uh, so anyway, here's a real nice gun. 
Uh, let me get my mitts out of the way. 2000 and I think 2018. 2018. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Yeah. The Colt single action army is probably about 1800 bucks. For new in the box, that's a screaming deal. Um, it's a $2,500 gun if you ask me, but anyway, no one asked me. So here we are, <laughs> um, letting my professional sales associates do what they do best. So this is a Colt, uh, gold cup. I'm sorry. It's the Colt national match. Um, and has the adjustable grip. This guy had really small hands, or he liked to really get a tight grip on the gun for that one handed shooting. Um, it has the thumb shelf and the adjustable this so you could move this up and down according to the size of your hand you'd really want it to squeeze in there like when I shot uh, shot 22 pistol league I, I made it so my hand kind of really jammed in there I didn't want any extra uh, slop or whatever so anyway it holds you it really locks in and gives you good wrist control and hand control over the gun and uh, this would be a great uh, gallery competition if you want to shoot larger caliber like 45 or 38 or 9 millimeter or whatever so 45 is good it's a big line buster so you get a half almost a half inch of bullet a lot of real estate that it covers but yeah there's all kinds of pins and plates and bullseye and gallery competitions out there mostly off cape but if you're willing to travel and you want to get a good gun this would be a real nice one to start out with this one is 1350 so i guess it's out there for 1250 on the uh, on the website uh, this one does not come with the original box, but it does come with a box, and I don't know which one it is. I think it's uh, this box right here. Yeah, so you get some band-aids and uh, a smelly rag and a couple of empty, a uh, couple of empty shell trays. So anyway, um, that's ready to go. But the gun itself, Colt National Match with the with this uh, gold. Uh, lettering, gold color fill, adjustable trigger, um, just a beautiful gun. Um, it'd be one to have in the collection as a shooter or a collector. Moving on to the, looks like a high standard. Um, this is a high standard model H, HD military. And uh, these are great guns, uh, really, really popular back in the day. Um, again, for, you know, gallery type competition and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful gun. High standard was the standard for a long time. I think this was one of the first pistols I ever shot um, in the Boy Scouts was a high standard. My, my old Boy Scout teacher, I mean, uh, my Boy Scout uh, leader, he had a ton of high standards and he knew uh, how good they were when he shot, you know, gallery and whatnot. He collected them. And uh, so anyway, um, that's that. And uh, this one has some wear on it, uh, some handling marks. This gun was shot. It's not brand new in the box, but that's all right. It's still a really good gun. And uh, these still get a really good price, believe it or not. Um, this one's 900 bucks and uh, comes with the box, the paper, and the gun. So one magazine, uh, but really, really nice. Uh, they're a very popular gun even to this day. So get one while you can. If you don't have one, you should. So this is a neat gun. I have, this is another one of those that I've never seen before. It's a star. I've seen plenty of star guns before, but um, this one's kind of cool. Has the original manual, um, has extra magazine in the box here, still wrapped in the, in the cloth. I don't think this gun's been fired, or if it has, it's very little. But it's a 22 plinker, and um, it's a pretty cool gun for the uh, fact that it's made in Spain and in really, really nice shape. It's a target model gun. Uh, it has that little truncated um, thumb shelf. It's not the real big target grips, but it's 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 almost like for made for little hands. This would be a cool gun to get like a kid involved in 22 shooting. Uh, it'd be a great gun to have that, you know, would run real well and shoot uh, real accurately and be a pretty low cost gun. This is $350, I'm sorry, $400 start. And, uh, you know, just a beauty, beauty of a little gun in great condition. Yeah, I guess it has been shot. It's not new in the box by any stretch, but the other mag is new. And uh, it even has the, 
American style mag release, like unlike so many other European guns, which have the heel mounted mag release, but nice little six inch barrel. So this would be a fun gun to shoot and uh, plink away on um, if you need a good 22. And you don't want to break the bank with the high standards or the Colt Woodsman or the, you know, any of the other 22s. So that's that. And then we'll show one more here. And this comes in a big old box. Fun, fun, fun. It's the Interarms Dragoon, uh, Virginian Dragoon. Uh, it's just a beast of a gun. And this is a modern gun. So uh, just check that it's clear. It's a uh, 44 mag. And again, it's in that single action styling, uh, like the Colt single action army that we just showed you. But this one is a uh, Virginia Dragoon. The Virginian um, Dragoon was a you know, long barrel, popular, uh, popular gun back in the gunfighting days. So this one's stainless steel, shoots 44 mag and it comes in the box start on this is going to be 800 bucks uh is it yeah 700 bucks actually and it has extra pair of like packmeyer grips i don't know if they're uh yeah these are packmeyers so you could take these off and put these on if you want this is more of a presentation grip be it would be pretty nice to shoot but it's marked yorktown 1781 to 1981 so it was a um 200 year uh anniversary of Yorktown, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you get your manual and all that good stuff. I believe this was an import. I'm not sure, but let me check and see if it says anywhere. Might not be. No, I would say it was made in Alexandria, Virginia, because it doesn't look to be imported. It doesn't say on it that it was made in like Italy or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Interarms is more known for import you know being an importer than a manufacturer but i guess they did make guns as well so there's that virginia dragoon and we'll get more up tomorrow and we'll review some more as well but those are uh those are the few more that we got up today and uh, you know we talked about all the ones yesterday the browning high power the smith model 52 the uh, walter pp and the walter ppk the Gorgeous Gold Cup National Match, Camp Perry uh, Anniversary Edition, the 75-year Camp Perry uh, Special Edition with all that gold leaf and all that beautiful color case. I mean, all that beautiful blue, the Colt blue. And uh, yeah, that one's calling my name. That's one of the guns I've been trying not to buy. But so, so far I've been successful. So hopefully somebody will get it before I do. And that's on there for 1800 bucks. So anyway, it's a hard gun to walk by. Beautiful presentation case and original box and all that good stuff from Colt Custom Shop. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that as much as I like that. But cool guns, that's what we sell here, cool guns. Everyone's laughing at me. That's right, cool guns. Cool guns. It, it's hard for me to find a gun I don't think is cool, but there's some. There's definitely some. Um, what's what's a not cool gun that I? Yeah, what's a not cool gun? Ruger SR9. Nate doesn't like the Ruger SR9. Smith and Wesson 380 bodyguard. I like the Smith and Wesson 380 bodyguard. Never agree with you on that. Well. We can agree to disagree, and it's okay for you to be wrong. It's not a big deal. It's, oh, wait, Tony. The, the Glock that Glock made is 45 Gap. The Glock that Glock made in 45 Gap. Yeah, did you hear about that yesterday? No. Oh, Nate wasn't even here yesterday. I asked everybody, what's the most obscure round that was made by a major manufacturer that was just like a dead on arrival round. Yeah, it was the Glock gap. And Nate Nate agrees with me. So it took a while for them to get it. They were all like 10 millimeter, 5.7. I had like five or six people say 5.7. But I'm like, no, we sell that. We stock it. We shoot it. But the 45 gap, I swear, I have never, ever, I have never, ever 
sold a box of that ammo. I think we special ordered one box once for somebody. And well, there's 50 it, GI too. 50 GI is, a, oh yeah. is probably more obscure yeah, than 45 Gatlin. Well, what is four, 50 GI? It's the one that you can shoot off the Glock rings, <laughs> like the 21s. It's like a 50 caliber. 50 GI? I've never heard of it. AR. It's not, we did, we did. but it's not made by a major manufacturer. Like the, the 45 Gap was like the 357 SIG, you know, it was like a, a new introduced round that someone wanted to tag the manufacturer name with and go with it. And it went, yeah. they laid an egg. 327 Federal. Somebody said that in the broadcast yesterday, 327 Federal, and I disagree. We just sold one of those guns a month ago. I stock the ammo. It shoots three different types of ammo. 327 Federal is a relevant cartridge, in my opinion. If somebody wants to buy a, a revolver, you get an extra round in the cylinder because you get six shots instead of five for a small revolver. And you can shoot three different types of ammo. You can shoot 327 Federal, 32 h and r mag and you can shoot 32 like wad cutters through it i like it right. it's versatile it's cool it's it's a very cool gun it's kind of like not real popular like 38 special is but and at, the recoil would be less it's got plenty of energy as a stopping you know for stopping power and you get an extra round instead of five you get six i mean there's so much like in that gun there's so much to like but anyway uh Sig 2022. That's a gun I don't think is cool. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's one. And that you had one of those, right? Well, not me. Oh, but you. I brought one in. Yeah. So Brenna had one, a Sig 2022 in 40, and there was just nothing about that gun that was cool. Heavy double action trigger pull. It was polymer and steel, and it was cool. the name was cool. Yeah, I like 22 yeah. stuff and Sig. I meant Sig. But. It could have been, it had potential, it just laid an egg. It was big, it was heavy, it was a terrible trigger, and it was 40. Whatever, sorry 40 guys, I know you like it. What? The Sigma series? They were on to something, they copied the Glock. They, the Sig Sigma, I mean the Smith Sigma series is, anyway. All right, so Verismo says any kel pistol, not cool. I disagree. Agreed. I, di I disagree. Brenna, dis Brenna agrees with Verismo, but I disagree. My daughter shot the P17 yesterday, loved it, no jams, functioned fine, looks like a Lego. Yeah. I wouldn't want to step on it because it would hurt me. Sorry. Tran is saying that Sig Smith and Wesson Sigma with a question mark. That, that I think they were on the right track, and now they they got a striker fired gun. You got to remember how early that Sigma came out. Now, what was the 380 that Smith made, though, that didn't even take down? You had to drive a roll pin out to get the slide off. What? That was a not cool gun. It was... I don't even know. I can picture it in my face. I can't... I can picture it in my mind. I just... I can't remember the model number. Google it for me. There's a Smith pistol that you, has no takedown, and it's a piece of crap. That's not a cool gun. And I've sold them, and I'm embarrassed to say that I've sold them. But anyway, that is definitely not a cool gun. Um, so let's see. Uh, all right. What? It's almost making you mad. It's making me mad. It is making me mad. Uh, all right. What does the, does the blue bag have water, Nate? Did the blue bag have water in it? No, because we don't have any water systems in the shop. No, no water. It should have polar in it, polar seltzer, but it would get a little shaken up as you're camping, as you go out to your camp. Does it uh, filter cooking gear shelter head? Uh, nope, none of that. And uh, Mark was just checking the, the, the auction and came across my bio. Stop and meet the legend? What? Is that really what it says? It's still on there. Cut the crap. Who put that crap up there? I got to revoke rights and privileges from website creation. That's a bunch of bull crap. So anyway, Mark, don't get, don't you know, that, so. son of a gun. I tell you, my guys will gig with me in many ways, and I don't know who put that there, but one guy nicknamed me the, the legend in here, and of course, he is a legend in his own right. He was... Uh, Special Forces Dave, who's, you know, jumped out of helicopters in the desert and shot bad guys in the face and stuff. And here I am, just Joe, Toby Hawk, 
you know, firearms trainer, and he sat in on one of my classes, and he goes, you're the legend, and I'm like, I'm not the legend, and so every time I'd see him, he call, even to this day, he comes in, he calls me the legend, I'm like, all right, Dave, but I think that's ridiculous that somebody put it on my bio, and huh, I, I apologize for that, so anyway, yeah. nothing fancy in Coleon Noir like the 2022 to the best of your recollection. All right, well, you know what? Everybody's entitled to an opinion. The 2022 is a gun that probably works fine. I just don't think it's a cool gun. It's kind of ugly and it's heavy and it's big and it's got a big fat heavy trigger pull and which I'm not totally against all that. Like the bodyguard has a heavy trigger pull, but I'm okay with that because of the type of gun it is. Like a front pocket carry gun should have a heavy trigger pull so you don't shoot yourself in the leg and uh Anyway, um, those guys are good guys. I'm not going to sit here and try to pit my expertise against nothing fancy and Coleon Noir. I mean, those guys are legends. I'm, I'm the non-legend. I'm the imposter. But that's all right. I'm, I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. And I'm, everyone's entitled to an opinion, right? So Stephen Perry says, what? No high point shout outs? Yeah, I know, really. That was one I would really expect. And God's honest truth. I don't like the high point pistols in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, Sigma 380. Okay. So I knew it was, that's why it triggered my mind when we were talking about the Sigma. But the Sigma 380, absolute piece of crap. Uh, high point pistols? Yes. I'm saying I don't like high point pistols. They're like the AK and the handgun. I don't care what they are. They're like a friggin' pot metal you know, heavy bat. They look like a kid's ray gun from Halloween that somebody made go bang. They feel like that too. I don't and, know, I've never shot one before. So. Well, I've shot them, and the funniest thing is the grip is like a holding on to a like Schedule 20 pipe, and then you drop the mag, and it's like the skinny single stack mag, and you're like, there is something seriously wrong with a grip that is that fat that takes a single stack magazine. It's bizarre. But anyway, the one high point I like is the carbine. I like their carbines in 380 and 9 millimeter. And they're fun to shoot. They, they're just fun guns to shoot. The thing that's frustrating about them is their Picatinny rail is proprietary. Of course, it's not that. So, the, you know, if you have a high point, you want to put a flashlight on it or a vertical foregrip. It's not going to fit on the Picatinny rail that it, you know, it's, it looks like it should, but it doesn't. And you got to buy high point accessories to put on the, uh, on the Picatinny rail. But anyway, Tran is saying, uh, Smith and Wesson SD nine VE. And again, that's kind of the evolution of the Smith and Wesson Sigma. It's still sold. We have them, we sell them. And I don't mind that pistol for what it is because it's a, Striker fired, no thumb safety gun that's mass legal. How many striker fired guns do we have in mass that are no thumb safety and mass legal? There's VP9. a couple of Smiths, the VP9, XDS. the XDs, XDs, the HK VP9, FMKs. the FN, uh, FN 509s. No, the FMK, what the heck's an the FMK? FMK Oh, that FMK9 thing is, yeah, 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 yeah. That one has a terrible trigger, but that's all right. We sell the rocket trigger kit, um, and that's about it. There's maybe five or six striker-fired guns that don't have a thumb safety that are legal for sale in Massachusetts, and that gun is, what, like under 300 bucks retail? The SDV? Yeah, I think it's like 275 Yeah, so under $300 bucks retail. You know, I'm not a snob. If someone's on a budget, they can buy something like that, and it's a good gun for the money. It has a little bit of a heavy trigger, but I think Apex makes a spring kit for it, and we've put them in, and they're they're not bad. They're about the size of a Glock 19, and they're kind of the kind of the not a bad gun, in my opinion. And they run, they work. So I'm not going to crap on the SD9 VE, even though I could. But let's see. Uh, <laughs> It was 1,800 for the Colt single action army. That sounds about right. Over, over 1, 500 to 1, 100 yeah, I, I could see that gun selling for 2,500 bucks all day long. So um, 1,800 bucks is a good deal. Um, let's see. 
Will the new Sig Sauer rifle be compliant in mass? And Annie, I think you're referring to their cross rifle, and absolutely that'll be mass compliant because it is not a assault weapon. It is a bolt action. So if that's the case, yes. Um, Lauren Warburton says she misses you, Brenna. So I miss you too, Lauren. She's crying. Yeah, I want she teared up. Um, so let's see. Uh, the high standard FTW, high standard for the win, Brian says. He's a high standard fan. And uh, Dean is wondering how court went. It's happening 20 minutes ago as we speak, and I'll find out at 7.30 tonight. Um, so that's how court's going. And uh, we'll, we should have an answer tomorrow. And any idea how much the Wyatt Earp gun could run? Uh, if you're wondering about the Buntline Special, is that the one she's referring to? It's probably that, uh, it's either the Colt Single Action Army that she's referring to or that Interarms with the big Buntline barrel, that Virginian Dragoon. So that one, what was the Virginia Dragoon? Did we come up with a price on it? That's 700 bucks, good deal. Yeah, the cross rifle is definitely mass compliant. And any idea about price? Hey, can you Google what the price of those cross rifles are gonna be-ish? I don't know for sure. Buy the Q What's that? Buy the Q rifle. Buy the Q rifle instead. I think that's a better choice, personally, but. Um, any KSGs in the house? Yes, I see one. We have one in stock right now. And we have one and only one, and it's black, and it's got a vertical foregrip with a laser and a light on it, just because I put it on there. And it's also got the SIG Romeo 4 sight on it, which is pretty neat. So that's that's a pretty cool setup right there. And uh, sorry, I missed the first comment about the question about that. And so Randy's saying, I can't wait to come inside and do something. <laughs> Sorry, check it out. Okay, it says, can't wait to come inside an XGEXKI. And then he says, check it out. Sorry, texting with one hand. As long as you're not texting with one hand while driving and trying to, uh, exactly what he's doing. and trying to like change lanes and drink your coffee and shave, then I forgive you. Um, anyway, just don't do that. 1779. What's the pre-ban late 80s Mini 14 SS with folding factory stock worth? Oh, if you got one, Brian, PM me because I'm interested. I want one. Um, I've always wanted a factory folder. What is it worth? That's a good question. Probably. You just want to live out your 18 dreams. I want to live out my 18 dreams. You know what? If I think about the 18, I'll remember like. You know when you're a kid and you find out Santa Claus isn't real and it kind of ruins Christmas for you for a little while? Well, my aunt ruined the A-team for me. And uh, Paula, if you're on today, you're gonna, you're, you know, I've never fully forgiven you for this, but I'm sitting over my aunt's house and, and my cousin and I, we're all getting ready to watch the A-team. We're all excited. My aunt goes, you know what I love about the A-team, Toby? I'm like, what? And she goes, all that shooting and everything, and no one ever gets shot. No one ever gets killed. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? And she goes, yeah, no, no one ever gets shot. And I'm like, really? Well, why do I watch the show? <laughs> but it had never occurred to me at that point that no one had ever got shot. There's bullets flying everywhere. They're pulling out these, you know, Ruger Mini 14s with their factory folders out of the cool van, and you got B.A. Baracus and I pity the fool and all this stuff and they're firing like mad and no one ever gets shot. What the heck, man? All right, I go with that. I, I appreciate their, it's like, I guess they're like stormtroopers. Maybe they were stormtroopers or something. Anyway. Hey, stormtroopers are only firing warning shots. That's right, they're all firing warning shots. So, Brian, I don't know off the top of my head what it's worth, but I would say retail, it's probably in the $1,200 range, right? Is that right? I don't know. Um, the CMMG Banshee's legal? No, because they're an AR pistol. I wish they were, but they're not. Um, Annie's saying bye, bye, bye. Uh, the cross, did you look up the cross for me? 1779 is MSRP. 1779 is MSRP, so it's probably like 1650 to 1699 our price when we get them. And they're probably not coming out till. June or July, so 
Anyway, uh, new Ruger revolver. Do I think it would be mass compliant? It's a single action 45 long and 45. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Ruger's pretty good about testing their guns for mass. So I would say that it'll be mass compliant eventually, but I don't know if it will be like right away. And I don't even know if they're going to be testing guns for a while. I mean, the new te the new list is due. We're either going to get one or two guns on the new list or we're going to get 14 because it'll be six months. Yeah. Well, the last list was pretty anticlimactic. We got, I think, three new guns or something, but the SIG 365 XL was on there, so that was cool. Uh, but um, I don't know if... Maybe the Hellcat would be on there. The Hellcat would be on there would be nice, but I doubt it. Um, I'm, I hate to be Debbie Downer, but... That's what? Springfield's answer to the 365, right? Yeah, okay. Springfield's answer to the 365 is the Hellcat, which has effectively destroyed the... Uh, yeah. sales of the XDS yeah. and so yeah so they're not except in Massachusetts and the funniest thing is they've continued with one model XDS and of course it's not the mass compliant model number go figure you would think yeah you would think they would have at least oh and you know why because it has night sights instead of the fiber optic that's the whole that's the only difference in the gun and mass won't well it's a different it's a different model number so Springfield, like Ruger, tests by model number. So yeah. it's a very specific skew. It's like the whatever, you know, S, D, G, V, E, whatever. Instead of like what Smith did originally was like M and P9. I love that. M and P9 pistols, cool. I like M and P9s. And they make a lot of varieties of the M and P9 or the M and P9C. But SIG got in the habit just recently of linking it to a model number as well. Originally, the list came out, it said Smith, I mean, it said SIG uh, 320 Compact. I think it said 320 originally. It said 320, 320C, and 320F. Yeah. So they had the full size, the compact, and the, and the uh, subcompact. That's what it was. And now they've got them linked to a model number, you know, the 9mm BSS, whatever, dash MA. So anyway. Uh, we need like eight more microphones to make this a round table discussion. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get them to come over uh, here and be right in front yeah. of you because then they'd be on microphone. That's right. Come stand over here, you guys. Yeah. Jeff is saying uh, that the uh, SDV9 has to be okay if they have to pay Glock to sell them, which is true. So here I can put the microphone here so we get a true round table going. All right. I'm not as knowledgeable as Kate or Toby. But... There we go. That's going to stay, I hope. So anyway, uh, let's see. Can you legally carry 13 rounds if you own a pre-banned Glock mag? Yes, Stephen, that is an absolute affirmative yes. Um, and Jeff is saying you need to buy like eight more microphones. Oh, I already read that comment. Um, so Annie's saying okay. Uh, Richard's saying that's what I thought, probably referring to the Mini 14 price. And how do you feel about the Mossberg pistol? What do you, how do you feel about the Mossberg pistol? I've never shot it. Um, I've handled one, and I don't, you know, it feels pretty good to me. The, the reason why I don't like the Caltech pistols is because they would feel like, it feels like a toy. It doesn't, she says it feels like, like a toy. All right, I like you might have to speak heavy. up a little. Will you Sorry. go grab me a Mossberg pistol out of the back if yes. we have one? Do we have any out back, or are they all in the case? Yeah, I got it. All You're right. saying to speak up? Yeah, I am. Uh, so that's all right. When she gets near the microphone, she talks like this. She's like, yeah, I totally. I don't know. I don't know. All right. You so, met me. Yeah, I met you, and I hear you yelling at people from across the room, so I know you got it in you. You then, got some pipes then, to speak. Yeah, and then you get me in front of a camera. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> but that's all right. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you the Mossberg pistol in a minute. And Arlo's crying. Maybe we should let him out. Do you want to let yeah, him out? Yeah, walk him. He'll, you don't have to walk him, but maybe he'll yeah. get into something, I make a scene. What, about that All thing? Right. How do you feel on the Mossberg pistol? I don't do single stack guns. They don't fit my hands. Oh. Well, do single stack guns. His hands are too big. He has big hands. All right, let's do the unboxing. It comes in this, like, saran wrap, and uh, it's pretty cool. You just fold that out and it lifts right out you don't have to cut it it says in fact it says do not cut <laughs> reusable pack do not cut film what's up arlo how you doing buddy, Come on, buddy. um go over there and you can go around go around you can go say hi go around 
Um, so here we go. Mossberg MC1. One thing I do like about it is where the safety is located. It's a cross bolt safety, which you can see here. If you're going to have a safety, I think that's not a bad place to have it. Um, it's pretty easy to use and uh, you can click on it and push it. I think I'd just ignore the safety altogether if I own this gun and leave it off because it also has a trigger safety. So it's, all right, we're going to lose you on Insta and I'll restart. So I'm going to end you right now and restart. Um, sorry guys, while I restart the Insta feed. I don't know why the heck they limit me to an hour. Don't they know? I can talk. Long don't, they not, don't they know that I, I'm just getting warmed up? Like, <laughs> hour is like ridiculous. I haven't no, even told was, one story in an hour. <laughs> Poor people. Ten hours. That would yeah, be ten hours question. might be a little extreme. I'd be in divorce court if I if they didn't you know if it was ten hours. But anyway, here's the Mossberg. It comes with a extended pinky mag, which is a good idea because really there's no chance that pinky's going to be on that gun if it was a flush mag, um, which isn't the end of the world. A lot of people hate the fact that it feels weird with their pinky dangling off the bottom of the gun, but I've found in my uh, experience that when you grip the gun correctly, even if that pinky isn't on there, when you drive out on target and you shoot, it actually doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things as far as recoil control is concerned. And my accuracy does not suffer at all because my pinky isn't on there. So it's strictly a mental thing. It feels weird. And so people don't like how it feels. Uh, but the gun is actually a pretty good size gun. It's a, uh, Glock 43-ish size gun. It actually takes the Glock 43 magazine. I think this one is made by ETS, even though it doesn't say it on it, but it looks like an ETS mag. It smells like an ETS mag. I'm gonna go with the fact that it's probably an ETS mag. But anyway, it'll work with the uh, it'll work with the Glock 43 mags as well, and uh, it has a ambidextrous safety. I mean, a uh, mag release, so you can flip the mag release over. And the other thing that's cool about it is its uh, price is very, very reasonable. It is a, oh, it does come with a flush mag. Does it? Yep. It actually has a flush mag in there. So once again, I harp on this a lot. So 389 under 400 bucks for a brand new striker fired gun. And uh, again, it has a safety on the trigger and it's got that flat face trigger. So that breaks at 90 degrees, which I kind of like. So when it breaks, it's, you know, 90 degrees up and it feels pretty good in your hand. And uh, I have shot this gun a lot and I haven't shot it a lot, but I've shot it a couple times, a few, a good amount. And uh, I really like how it performs. It didn't have any issues with it. And I got one of the real early prototypes to try. Oh, I was gonna, one before they were on the list, right? Was, yeah, I, I tried one. I had one in the shop before they were on the list and I was checking them out. And the takedown on them is real cool. It's, uh, it's a good gun. I'm, I'm a fan of it. And uh, so if you want a good striker fired gun at a reasonable price point, I've sold a bunch. I can kind of hang my hat on them and say, yeah, they get a thumbs up for that price point. So that's what I think of the Mossberg MC1. So hopefully that answers your questions about that. So Tom is saying, hey, Brenna from Tom and Terry. Yeah, I love them. And, and, uh, <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi, Terry. And uh, Richard says Mossberg versus 365 versus Shield 2.0. All right. Now you're getting into a lot of subjectivity. So again, it would be the best gun that Fits your hand well, that you shoot okay, that you know feels good in your hand. I would whichever one feels good in your hand. Out of the three, I've chosen the 365. Um, I think it fits really good in my hand, and I shoot it unbelievable. Um, the Shield 2.0 is a good gun. We sell a ton of them. I mean, it was the best-selling gun in our shop for a long time, until the 365 came along. Actually, until the XDS. Yeah, the XDS came along. It knocked it off the top. And then the 365 has crushed every other gun for a, by a long shot. Wasn't the Shield yeah. the fastest to a million units? Or yeah, the Shield was the fastest selling gun to a million units. So they sold a million units in like a year and a half or something yeah, like that. And so it was pretty pretty amazing. But um, so let's see. Uh, 
you want to do a round table, that's what a round table. that's what i would uh i would say about the mossberg 365 and the shield 2.0 go with the one that feels best in your hand and that you shoot well and that's what i would do so i do so. a um I threw a poll up about delivery to see if people would want delivery or not that was interesting. from our store yeah, yeah delivery <gasps> We'll see how that goes. Brennan's getting all excited. <laughs> Can we get an H1 if we're going to do it? A Hummer? No, no, a Yukon. Come on, I'm already looking to check out a Yukon for transport. <laughs> I think um, we do need a Cape Gunworks vehicle, though. Absolutely. Yukon. I want to go with Cape small and wrap, wrap it as a bullet. We can. <laughs> Yeah, Cape you, Cod, yeah, I'm sure there's a repurposed make... rolling hot dog out there. That you can... <laughs> Actually, you like they were selling the old or... Oscar Mayer no, 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 no. mobiles a couple no, of weeks VW ago. Bus. Yeah, now VW uh, bus. A VW have bus. Have you seen the Magpul VW bus? The cool. Magpul VW bus is redonkulous. Oh, it is insane. Like a... You should and it says find that and put through, it on Instagram. It's peace through superior firepower. It is awesome. <laughs> and they, if you bought one of their stocks that used to come with a poster of it it's yeah it's awesome so it is the vw bus and it has a turret that well the roof folds back because of the bus anyway and then there's a turret mounted mini gun that's out of the top of it (laughs) oh yeah it's legit that's my dream car yeah it's like the black rifle coffee vulcan 20 in the on the uh on the they were on the toyota prius (laughs) but um the yeah the best (laughs) <laughs> the best vehicle ever is that VW bus by Magpul. Even the front, like the where it had the VW symbol, they changed it to the Magpul symbol, mm-hmm. and it's like right on the front grill. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like even a great color. But anyway, um, I digress. I think we should get a get a Cape Gunworks vehicle. Yukon. Because Cape I don't know what it's gonna be. Have, has an H1. Get a nice. I know Yukon. they do. We it's might get an H1. That would be cool, but. You know, where are you going to park it? You can't even, like, parallel park that car. You're still out in the middle of the road, the vehicle. I know it's, it's like, first world problems, but it's well, in some H1, cases it's probably third it, world problems. But, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. We can use for our mobile gun shows, too. Uh, Yukon. No one needs yeah, an H1. Uh, there's a gun store as a tank. Don't remember the name that has a tank. Yeah. There's one up in uh, Maine, I think, that had a tank out front. I was and, uh, an actual Humvee, not yeah, an but H1. Anyway. That's as close as you can get. Yeah. The uh, government Humvees aren't road legal. Well, you can buy them through, like, surplus websites. You can't and all get that. titles for them, though. Really? So you can't put them Is that why they're, like, five grand? Yes. Oh. Because <laughs> you... Like, what the heck, man? They're selling... The ones I wrote in were new and were beat the crap, so... <laughs> well, maybe you just got to get someone to make it. Make yeah, it, that's true. you know... It becomes a manufacturer. Yeah, Yeah, Mike Amster, if you're listening, start scouting (laughs) a vehicle for me. I need one. Uh, And Gimp Gunfighter says you should definitely do a delivery service. That'd be awesome. Yes, please. And maybe we would. Why not? Uh, You know, see how that goes. We definitely have to charge for it, but I think it'd be great if we went over to like Nantucket once a month. Oh yeah, it would be cool to go over to the islands and. Cape Gun works deuce and a half. What? That, that could be a thing. Are you excited uh, about that? <laughs> I was like, I'm not done getting scratched and need attention. No, he's just the star of the show. He is just <laughs> an attention you know what. He, yeah, that's okay. Oh, it's thank ridiculous. You. It's ridiculous. Oh, thank he's you. like, hey man, I'm a survivor. Yeah, I ate two blocks of mouse that. poison and yeah, pooped it out like it was nothing. Poison. When was that? <laughs> two days ago, he ate two blocks of mouse poison. And okay. that's well, yeah. smart. Why I, did you do you that? On the live show two days ago. Brian's saying you can title an H1. You can title an H1. An H1. Not a Humvee. Not a hum- we were talking about Humvees. One nine nine. M one nine nine. Semantics. They are. Semantics. All right. There was a dude who lived in my hometown in Maine who had a road legal military Hummer. It was dope. I would agree that I've seen. I think they're like 30, the ones that are road legal are like 35 grand. Yeah, 35 we can grand. swing that. Yeah, I know. Oh, we yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sell Arlo to the highest bidder. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cancel my tech support request. The COVID banner was blocking the sign up. What? The COVID banner is blocking the, the sign up? The ticker at the oh, top of our okay. you, website. Oh, okay. I see. Cancel it. He must have put out a tech support. Like, how do I sign up? And he found it. But the COVID banner yeah it does you know, oh, Arlo. 
did Arlo yep. let it rip? Yeah, blame Arlo. Yeah, Arlo. All right, Nate. Yeah, that's easy to do. Blame the dog. Yeah, sure. That's hey, the way it works. Tacos yesterday. What do you expect? <laughs> they were good, <laughs> Those too. tacos are coming home to roost. Um, oh, you stink. I can't get yeah, over how good those Brussels Maybe he does need to go up. Man. Yeah, those, those were ridiculous. I mean, I'm just, I'm a, that could be why those were ridiculous. So, um, we're going to have to grill some Brussels sprouts here. Let's see. Grow some Brussels sprouts? I think burgers and hot dogs, not Bye. Brussels sprouts. All right. So, you guys want to see anything else? I want to show one of my personal favorites, and I think these don't get enough press because they're kind of a boring purchase, but the Vortex binoculars are amazing. These are 10 by 42, and they're uh, the Diamondback series binoculars, and whoa, look at that. They're, uh, they're really, really nice. They're quick focus. You know, you can use them with one hand if you have to. And uh, you, you, they're crystal clear binoculars. I think they are amazing. And they are real light and low profile and would hang on a bino chest harness. But one thing that's pretty cool is, is, uh, is Vortex has stepped up to the plate and sent along these nice bino chest harnesses. So uh, you can rock them into the wild like this, put it right on your chest, and they're right there for the easy, easy, uh, That's you know, when you're trekking, trekking along and you're out hunting, <laughs> you can keep it right there, pull them out, and instead of having these tethered to your chest, and when it rains and, you know, snows and all that, it covers up your eyelets or, you know, uh, the reticles, and then you got to wipe them off and they get all fogged up. The other thing that I like about it is this I can choose to just take right off. It does have the little clips that'll uh, connect it to the strap and it swings out of the way. I've never found these to work real well, but when you put them in here, you can just close it down and now if it's snowing or raining, it's going to keep them all uh, cleaned off. And uh, I don't know what the Diamondbacks are for sale, but maybe Nate can check for me real quick what the Diamondbacks sell for. And uh, it should be a box right in the in the Vortex case and I should have like if I wanted to show you guys these, I should have at least figured out what the price was to begin with. But I think they're great. Here, check those out. Let me know what you think. But I think you get a lot of bang for the buck, and you get this cool little chest harness with it that comes with an insulated uh, binocular case, and those that comes with it. You don't have to pay extra for the the binocular case. So they're pretty amazing, yeah. crystal clear for yeah. the money. I can read all the fine print. I send you on wild goose chases. Check under the counter. No, on the left. Yeah, there you go. And there's not a binocular case in the in the box? No. All right. Well, we'll find out, but they're worth it, whatever they are. They're cheaper than, like, you know, some binoculars can get up to 3000 bucks in no time. These are, like, I think they're, like, 349 or something like that. Oh, God. Uh, Arlo, leave it. Uh-oh. Sorry. We might need to send you on a mission. All right. Um, so anyway, that's uh. Let's see here. Uh, James is saying we used to have those Vortex within reach when at races in Darlington and Charlotte and Bristol and other tracks. I mean, they're a great deal for the money. I, you know, I used to use some cheap, crappy binoculars because I was always too cheap to pay the big money for them. But once I got a good set of binoculars, I was like. Two twenty nine ninety nine. Two twenty nine ninety nine, and I thought they were three forty nine. So. That's a good deal. That is a really good deal. I might buy a pair just because for the truck or something. But they're awesome. Lifetime warranty, like always, with uh, with um, Vortex. And yeah, check them out. They're they're amazing. So you don't have to spend three thousand bucks and get to get a good pair of binoculars. You can check out those Vortex ones. And those are the Diamondbacks. And I also have another set. Uh, I might have sold them, but I think they were uh, These really an clear. another set of binoculars. I forget what they are by Vortex. I had two different lines. Those are the Diamondbacks. Oh, they might have been the Crossfire or yeah, the. Uh, they're, gone, yeah. they're either the Crossfire. Yeah, those are gone. We don't have another set under the counter. All right, well, we'll get resupplied. So, anyway, I'm going to have to fill up that big new SIG display case when we get it. So. Um, Terry likes the new setup in the store. Thank you, Terry. Uh, I do too. It makes it feel Brandy new. big and fresh. And uh, uh, oh, thanks, man. Someone's saying congratulations on the bird. Uh, we shot a turkey the other day, and I'm hopefully going to go back out pretty soon and 
Shoot another one. It's time to kill some toms. Tis the season. There's certainly plenty of them running around Cape Cod, that's for sure. So, anyway, um, is there a, yeah, I don't know the name of that gun store with the tank, but you guys can send in your suggestions. Should we get like a, uh, I don't know, what's that? A suggestion box. A suggestion box for the, uh, <laughs> no. for the Cape Cod Works vehicle. And um, I, you know, here's the deal. So I've always wanted to do like the, the Nemo Arms. Uh, have you ever seen the Nemo Arms panel van? It's just ridiculous. Google that one and it's it's out of control. Oh, Nemo. We yeah, used to carry those, right? But we don't. Yeah, thanks to the day that will live in infamy, 7-16-20. Oh, yeah, it's like a low I mean, 7 20 But yeah, that Nemo Arms panel van is just ridiculous but uh main military supply um maybe that might have been who they who it was i can't remember but i saw a nice tank sitting out in front of a, a place up in maine but anyway um what else you guys want to see i got a good deal um thank you lauren you have a good night too and uh, Hi, when, I, uh, when I told that idea to, that delivery idea to Brendan, he's like, yeah, dude, we got to get an ice cream truck. And, 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 <laughs> now and that might be a cool vehicle. Brendan says an uh, ice cream yeah, truck. Then we could just open the window. And, and we could play the music as we yeah, come down the street. It we could play the works. music, the, the ice cream music truck, you know, that we play. And uh, I don't know, maybe it could be like a digi camo or a, a crypt tech. No, it no, would be crypt tech. Black multi cam would be cool. Um, let's paint it one of those. We paints. could paint it. Uh, let's paint one of those paints that changes color. In the oh, I don't know. We'll figure yeah, something out. We'll get creative when you we're. love that unicorn When we get stuff, open and we you? can sell guns again and like make some money, maybe all these dreams will come true. But as of right now, they are pipe dreams. Cape um, coffee, tacos, donuts, coffee, tacos, donuts, donuts delivery, <laughs> ice cream truck. Barbecue, right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I remember. Remember that Cheech and Chong movie? I don't know which one it was when they oh, had like the mobile the delivery marijuana truck. I think that was like a scope, yeah. Oh God, help us and save us. But anyway, uh, that's not something we will be doing. But um, the SIG 365 XL is in the house. So these were hard to get back in stock. So hopefully you guys can appreciate the fact that I have a few. And these are um, really, really cool guns. As you well knew that was coming. Um, this has the X-ray night sights on it, and it is cut for a red dot optic. So if you want to get one of those Sig Romeo Zeros or the Shield RMS Shield red dot sights, that'd be a good one to get. And uh, uh oh, Thank Brian sent us it. a yeah, he sent us a Facebook post of something for sale. So we'll have to check it out. But anyway, uh, this has got a flat face trigger that breaks at 90 degrees. One of my favorites and uh, has a really nice trigger pull. It is in fact a thumb safety equipped model as all the ones in Massachusetts are, uh, but it's a good it's a good deal. Um, let's see, coffee, tacos, and Tavors. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what's the Shield 2.0 sell for? Uh, the Shield 2.0 is what, what are we getting for those? 399, I think. I think they're 429, but we're still giving people 50 bucks off if you buy now instead of like put it on layaway so yeah it ends up under 300 bucks so i mean under 400 bucks uh and he's wondering how much the beretta 1301 is and that's 989 i know because i was just discussing that model so um yeah the 1301 that's a great gun and i i really like it in case you didn't know um but we got the uh sig 365 in stock for uh, 649. This is the 365 XL. Comes with two mags and cut for red dot. Nice trigger, nice sights. Everyone and everyone should have one or two. And we have them in stock. The other one that we have, we got some more. So I've been authorized by the powers that be to give you guys a really good deal on the. SIG 365 Legion X5 um, because we got a bunch more in and I got a good deal on them so we're going to give them to you for the lowest price we've ever sold them at which is 899 
Uh, we had a big one day sale a couple months ago um, and sold them for $8.99 and they flew off the shelf. So it's a hundred bucks off. Um, that 365 XL, all right, Jeff's wondering if you upgrade to the XL, how much will you sell me your 365 for? Oh, um, I don't know. Do you want it autographed or not? Just kidding. <laughs> They're calling me a legend. I should at least get paid for it. Um, oh my goodness. So I know it's bad. It's bad. Hey, I'm, I'm just rolling with the dad jokes. So anyway, uh, it's I'd sell you the 365 if I upgrade to the XL. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll cut you a good deal, Jeff. So I haven't got a new 365 XL yet. So this is all speculation anyway. So let's see. Um, the X5 Legion. What are your thoughts on that? That is like a hot knife through butter. I have shot that and I love it. And you know, great home defense gun for me, not something that I could carry concealed clearly because it's massive, but oh, it's so Hold smooth. On. It's like, it feels like, <laughs> yeah. No, you're not gonna carry this gun yeah. concealed. I don't care if you're Nate. Wait, stand gonna by carry for one, it for this, hear me out. Cross draw is, is very complicated. Cross draw is very complicated because you have to think about, well, if you're right-handed, everybody to your left. Yeah. You it's, don't want to flag everybody. I like you know. it from here to here. Right. And this gun is definitely not an appendix carry gun. <laughs> unless you are, I don't know, there's some people that could pull it off. I've carried a 17. It's not With that the, much bigger. I've carried a 21 appendix. Okay. I did it one That's whole day. That's about the same size as the 21. Barrel's yeah, a little maybe. longer. Yeah, maybe. It's heavier. <laughs> it's heavy. Look, guys, this is a competition gun. Yes. It's a home defense if you want it to yep. be. And competition gun, it's and she says it's so like a hot smooth. knife through butter. So smooth. And uh, they fix the trigger on it. We should get oh, them. It's beautiful. We should get one for the range. Do we have one for the range? No. No, we don't have one nope. for the range. All right, Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna sale. carve one of those out for oh, the range. Darn. So, okay. If we have one less to sell already because it's gonna be on the range. So. So um, can go play. Yeah. So <laughs> people are happy you jumped in because they don't have to listen to me drivel on. Really? Yeah. They're they're happy. They're happy. Do we have a preview um, of the next gun tester? Well, the well I, I can't be here tomorrow to film with you guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have to go to Boston for right. good things. <laughs> Jeff oh, says man. autograph might lower the value. <laughs> <laughs> Legend! <laughs> That's how to put me back in my place. Jeff. That's how to put me back in my place. That was like a pin pop to my head. Uh, good stuff. I like it. Um, and... Uh, Someone's asking if vertical foregrips are legal on rifles in Massachusetts. I just don't want the ATF to come raid your house for a piece of plastic. Um, yes, they are perfectly legal. And the ATF has nothing to do with Massachusetts anyway. So the ATF could care less about state law. So if it, was, if it wasn't legal in Massachusetts, the ATF's not going to come knocking. It would be like state police or something like that or no. whoever. Whoever else might care that you have a vertical foregrip on your AR. But you don't have to worry about that. Sleep at night with your cheap piece of plastic vertical foregrip and know that you are safe. That is not the problem. So anyway, uh, and I'm not insulting it. I use cheap plastic vertical foregrips on my AR. Because too. if they break, it's no harm at all. Right. It's not like a KSG where you want a metal one. Yeah. It's the, yeah. So you're not going to jail over that piece of plastic anyway. There might be other pieces of plastic on your gun that might make you go to jail. But anyway, I find it quite interesting that, you know, you have, we have that uh, Bartley Fox law, you know, like mandatory one year in prison if you get caught illegally with a firearm, mm -hmm. which they've never, to my knowledge, enforced. They might have charged someone with it, and then it usually pleads out to something else. But... I don't think anyone's actually done a year in jail on that charge that they illegally were carrying a gun. But if you have a like AR that's not pre-banned and it has an adjustable stock on it, that's a felony. And you all know what a felony is. It's a crime that's punishable in prison over two and a half years in prison. So for having an adjustable stock on my post-ban AR, I could potentially go to jail for two and a half years Yep. But if I'm a felon in possession of a gun without a license, I'll probably plea it out and do some commu yeah. community service. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And you look at uh, yeah. the scumbag that shot 
Sean Gannon, you know, he had been caught with 30 guns. And if he had had that Bartley Fox law applied to all 30 of those, that's 30 yep. year sentences. He should have been in jail for like another 15, 20 years, whatever the heck it was. And instead he's running around town with stolen illegal guns and shooting cops. Good cops. I digress. Anyway, sorry, how did we get there? Like from here? You went off. Gim you gun went fighters on asked about a vertical foregrip. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, um, I already answered the, yeah, that's the SIG Legion, James. That's the uh, Legion X5 sexy, cool, tungsten infused polymer. It feels like with the, really with the uh, yeah. yeah that's why I mean, it's so heavy so so the grip <laughs> module I'm gonna show you here for the studio audience if you take this all apart and let's see if I can do this without do hey look that at that comes apart a lot. So that's the wow. gun that's the firearm yeah that's the firearm right there and what's cool if you buy this gun then you go back the other way and get your Sig 320 compact. Or X carry. Or X carry or whatever. You buy the grip module because you already have this. And guess what it doesn't have? I'm giving you guys a little hack here. This is a pro tip. It don't doesn't have a thumb out. safety. No thumb safety. It also has a really light trigger. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so you get the you get the 320 grip module and drop this in and now you got your carry gun. You might have to get the conversion kit with a regular size slide, but then then again you got the best of both worlds. You got your competition gun and you got your carry gun all in the same module. CW so hacks. anyway, yeah, that's a that's a <laughs> pro hack, a pro tip. So feel how heavy that is just by the by itself. So it's that's oh, without wow. the gun. And we have so, just the frames too. I'm still yeah, we have to. just the grip module. So um, yeah, it's a pretty it cool like way my, to get a good yeah. gun it's plastic. In, a, in Massachusetts. And uh, well, there is metal. Jeff saying, from one dad to another dad, yeah. I knew <laughs> you knew I would like that joke. That's, <laughs> I'm a sucker, man. I'm, I like dad That's jokes. Lovely. That's the way it goes. Um, I, li yeah. I like the I like a little bit of weight. Those Do come you? apart. Well, well obviously, I normal. hate Caltech. <laughs> yeah. They're like. Uh, so my daughter felt sorry that she exposed me so bad yesterday with saying my shoes were old. <laughs> 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 That's what got the best laugh of the day. I'm like. <laughs> They're so not even like old man shoes, too. They're I like them. Uh, they're not. Shoes. But, they're like, I'm like operator as you know what. Marlo, where did you just come from? And uh, yeah, I'm sure he came from the classroom and ate all the bread. But anyway. Um, <laughs> He's like, Burr, as he walks yeah. in the room. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty funny. I'm driving down the road and I just had a little chuckle because Esther was in the car when I thought about that yesterday. And she's like, what's so funny? I'm like. You calling me old man shoes on live on you know? She's like, I'm really sorry, Dad. Aww. And I'm like, No, actually, it was pretty good. It, it got us all a good laugh, so it was fine. I don't mind you insulting me that I'm not that thin of skin. So, and then it led to the good story about the the mall walkers. So. <laughs> oh God. I had a that pair of mall story. walkers. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so here's another one. I was laughing so hard. Here's another gun that I've been authorized to sell at ridiculously low prices. Yeah. We have to figure out something about the magazine situation. Um, but this gun is a brand new Beretta 92FS. And uh, it has um, night sights. And it's 649 bucks. But if you act now... I'm gonna knock 50 bucks off and say it's 5.99. So yeah, if you want one, we got the. If you haven't ever shot a Beretta, Nate made fun of me the other day and said they have horrible triggers, but I disagree. I think the double action trigger on it is good. And, Only uh, carried one for four and a half years. It does have a little <laughs> click. At, yeah, he carried one for four and a half years, so he's intimately Wait, aware of what it has. Issue? But Ew. you know what though? I gotta tell you, I there are so many servicemen that get out of the army or the Marines or whatever, and they come right in here and buy a Beretta 92. That's what they want. Like, I know. Th that's what they want. Like there's that's some, what I carried for so long. There's something I wrong with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've always been surprised by that. that anyway. It's a great. I can. From a training standpoint, why doing. wouldn't they? So, if you like a strike, I mean a hammer-fired double-action gun with a safety and a decock, lots of levery parts on there. Cool. 
this is your gun and it has night sights so it's a good deal at 600 bucks yeah. and uh yeah buy pre-band max form pretty easy too yeah you can get pre-bands we might even have some they don't fit the 92 they the fit X5? the heel release ones yeah that's the lame how much well, is the x5 the x5 is 899 and yeah. the Beretta 92 especially, is that gun's awesome, especially if you buy the little part that makes the safety a decock and you right. just run it as a decock. What he's talking about, I think it's the G, uh, the there's, 92FS yeah, G, yeah. and you can get this changed over so it's a decock only, and that's definitely the way to go. So uh, Matt's wondering about the M18 yet. Do we have one left? We got two in yesterday, and I broadcast on them yesterday. So Matt, if you didn't tune in yesterday, you might have missed out because I got... A couple in and you probably have hit me up on messenger and all that guys I'm gonna tell you a little secret in my construction company um, I have my employees fill out time cards and so for the first couple of years of being in business like come Thursday or Friday whatever my guy, Friday usually I'd show up on the job site and my guys would go oh hey Toby here's the uh, here's my time card can you uh, bring that to the office if you're heading back yeah sure I'd take their time card then next week sometime, they don't have a paycheck. They're like, hey, uh, where's the paycheck? Um, and I'm like, I don't know. What would you do with your time card? They're like, uh, I gave it to you. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's the problem. He doesn't eat dinner at night. Uh-oh, what do you get? The Olive Garden breadsticks. Oh. <gasps> Olive Garden Arlo. breadsticks. Arlo, you are he's mad. He's not German, he's Italian. Yeah. Actually, no, the he's dog, definitely German. The dog eats Actually, everything. So anyway... <laughs> Getting back to my story, uh, they they didn't get a paycheck because they gave me the time card. So I know some of you like to hit me up on Messenger and stuff like that, and even on PM and you know direct message, all the different ways of doing it, even on YouTube comments and stuff like that, you asking questions. And I get to them when I can, and some people are like, hey man, let me know when you get an M18 or an M17 or a blah, 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 blah. And uh, so... Anyway, um, <laughs> call and talk to me. The, the bottom line is you want to call the store, talk to Nate, talk to J uh, Jeremy, call in and prepay for the thing so that you don't have to check in when they come in. Because I'll be out here like going, hey, look what just came in. This is sweet. You guys should buy one. It's cool really guy. cool. cool. And guy, then Toby. like somebody's like, hey, man, you were supposed to let me know when that came in. And I'll be like, you know what? You're right. I told you I would. I, I did. And I'm sorry. live stream. I did, yeah, I told you on the live stream. You weren't watching? What, what's wrong with you? What, what were you doing that was more important than watching this live stream? Like eating dinner with my family? Bad excuse. But anyway, um, it's, it's, He's on a roll tonight. it's like, oh, you know, got? just I'm oh. trying to help you guys oh. help out. You know, so someone just heard about the breadsticks <laughs> that Arlo ate, and he goes, Arlo almost died story coming up. <laughs> I help Italian food uh, kill No, I made it Verismo almost... saying, as long as you have my M17 put aside, and that I do. Yes. I definitely do. So, like, if you call on the phone and you happen to get me and I ring you up, you're good. But anything else, if you message me, email me, PM me or DM me and say, let me know when you get How such and such, that? it ain't happening. So. He's hip. Because that's what I do he's half the day. He's not an old man's shoe. He's a cool dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cool dad. Yeah, right. Cool dad shoes. I tell my kids, I'm like, yeah, I'm on Facebook. They're like, you're old. You're old. Of course you're on Facebook. No one uses yeah. Facebook anymore. No one uses it. Yeah, can't, we can't you're old. We can't Snapchat or, uh, t or yeah. TikTok. I'm, so I have videos. a Snapchat account, and it's Oh, my God. Pathetic. He blew up on TikTok. I would yeah, blow up on TikTok. Videos. Yeah, you can't have long videos on TikTok. That's, exactly, that's all we need them for. <laughs> um, I have two left feet, so we're not going to be on TikTok for my dancing skills. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer. Yeah, that's what I was I'm saying. not a boomer. <laughs> Old man shoes. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok. Oh, God, that help us. Insta face or that TikTok? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> Insta face. Oh, the man. twit. Twit stuff. I am on Twitter. Not very good at it. I don't it, use but... Twitter though really anymore. No, I will say Twitter's pretty big, but it's kind of like it is. It's so huge, but it's news outlets and stuff like that. Idea. And it's just weird. It's like you can read half of it and then you got to go to the next one to read the other half. And it's like how many characters? 100, 150 100, characters at a time. 150 characters at a time, yeah. yeah. I've never been a Twitter guy. You can't but... edit. 
after you post. Uh, did the 365s so come in it. yet? We got two 365s. Did they're they sell? Gone. Yeah, they're gone. So they were people. They weren't people sold. Had, they, people, people who were did what I suggested. Them, yes. So call up and <laughs> James is going tick tack. Oh my God, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which well, <laughs> I've never been on so. TikTok, so uh, uh, yeah, I know that's true. Jeff's going, man, they're on the clock and they're ragging on me. That's right, get to work, would you? Hurry up! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, you want me to go clock him? I'll do this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a true story though. I, I, you know, sometimes I need my audience here to help me out with good business decisions. Like, absolutely. Uh, so anyway, um, the 365s. We got a couple in, but they were pre-sales. So if you want something, call and pre-buy it, and we thank you, and you'll have it when it comes in. Otherwise, it's going to get sold to somebody else, I promise. And it's not my intention. I wish I could remember everybody who's or, on the wish list. Or order it on the online store, because that, then it comes yeah. in for them. On the online store, if you go on our shop.capegunworks.com page, then... You buy it there and it's going to come to us anyway and it's automatically yours so that's the way it works uh pre-buying is better than relying on me for letting you know so anyway i'm being set up here on instagram i see it someone said knock knock <laughs> who's there <laughs> i'm sure this is going to be good here we go I pre-ordered one. We'll get a call if mine comes in. That's not the same guy. Okay. Uh, yes, you will. You'll get a call when it comes in. So uh, you might have been further down on the list because uh, we only got two. And so, you know, once we work our way down the list, it's kind of first come, first serve on those. So um, did you already call the two people that had the 365s? Yes, come in? I can check who they were. If All right, because one guy is saying... Uh, he pre-ordered one. He'll okay. will he get a call if it comes in? Yeah. So yeah, he's going to check right now. And uh, you got your Instagram name. It's B Guile 13. So I don't know who that is. You're you're in you're shrouded in secrecy. It's like your dog hit the cameras again. In there. Did he? Oh my oh, goodness. Arlo, All right, see you guys. your dog. Half day. All right. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. All right. Brendan's heading out to feed the kids, and he said, Arlo, hit the counters in there. What, what's his name, Toby? Uh, Beguile13. <laughs> Last name, Gofoil? Yes, I have. Gilfoyle. All right, we got it, and it's yours. So, Gilfoyle. yeah, he'll call you. Um, well, he doesn't need to now. Yeah, we don't yeah. need to. You've been <laughs> served oh, notice. <laughs> Consider yourself served. Hi, are you so And from? yes, Matthew wants an M18. So are both of those gone? Yeah, they're, oh, both. they're both gone. Full? Yes, Matthew, yeah, you missed you, it. Well, Darn it. You Italian German. So call and buy it, and the next one that comes in is you yours. Like That's all I can say. Okay. That's all I can say. Arlo's got a belly full of bread. You stinking, oh, filthy dog. Again, too. I just tried to get all right. ready. Well, maybe Sorry, I should get him in the truck. I don't know. Or have him go what? outside. But what anyway. What did you do? What did Sorry, you do? buddy. Um, that's the that's the stakes that we play the oh. high stakes so oh anyway uh, out of here arlo's arlo's sticking the, out out. the studio here hey, you guys have a good, night. good night good night um so yeah we'll get you on the range with the gun as soon as we get open so uh ryan uh you must have been the other one i think unless we have one already set aside yeah, for you i believe ryan did order one too yeah ryan ordered one so but was his just a regular 365, Ryan? And no, I think his was a Legion. I don't know. Wait. But we'll look for you. And if we, we probably have it in the back for you. I know we got a couple things out back for you. So yeah. we'll check for you. And Ryan, uh, what's his face? Nate, who just left, said he did call the two people that had it. And so we'll see how it goes. Oh, the M18, you definitely got one of those. Yes. Yep. No problem there. That went out back for you, but I thought you meant the 365 because two of those came in and two of the M18s in. And one of the M18s was yours, and the other one was somebody else's. I don't know who, but they go quick. So we got the M17s for you guys. If you need an M17, we still got plenty of those. Those are all-time low, $599. Really good price on that. I got the 
365XLs, and I got the SIG Legions uh, for $8.99, which is a screaming deal. I got a good supply of them, so for a good price. And what else we get? Uh, I don't know if we got any other firearms, and I got that TNW uh, pistol caliber carbine that I cut my hand on the other day, so that's a good one. And uh, you have the XL yeah, back there, and there should be an XL Legion back there for you. So, yeah, we're good. We got them piled high and deep. The money on the M18 was $6.99. So those were more than the M17. Go figure. But it's all a cost ratio. How's the HK supply? I got a brand new HK45 compact that came in today. And I don't know what we have for VP9s. I don't think we have a single we, one in I the I was on the phone with someone yeah. yesterday. So There's I, one. 320. We have the 320 SK, so. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of 320, I mean, uh, no, not 320, P30 SKs. P30 SKs, I got a sorry. pile of P30 SKs, <laughs> and I got a uh, HK45 compact. Um, so we have those. Uh, the tacticals, I don't have the tacticals, and I don't have the optics ready or the VP9. So I'm going to be getting those in. I've, I've already emailed HK. I'm still waiting on the 41622s. I'm waiting on the SP5K. I'm waiting on the USC45. So there's lots of guns I'm waiting on from them. And I don't, I don't know what he's getting into now, but he's on the hunt again. That dog, I tell you, he's going to be Here. the death of me. Lie down, puppy. Sit. So Sit. anyway, I guess I don't need to feed him tonight. <laughs> Lay down. See how it goes. Um, full of bread and plastic. Yeah, full of bread and plastic is right. There you go. That's All right. So hopefully you guys will check out those uh, guns on the website. And if you need anything else, give us a call. <clears throat> got those Vortex binoculars for sale today, which is a good deal on those. I got the, the kits here. The Oh, and I'll show you one more gun. And... We still have a pretty good supply of the Smith & Wesson m &P 9. Um, this is the full size and comes with one mag, night sights, and this is the thumb safety model, but it's also the free state trigger. So the free state trigger is really crispy and nice. Uh, it's not like the 10 and a half pound trigger pull. Um, and these were professionally maintained some of them have some handling marks and some wear, but they're $2.99. So you can't beat it, price, and it's in good shape. Yeah, those are professionally, right on the website too. these are on the website. Mm -hmm. You can buy them right on the website. You don't even have to call. And uh, yeah, I asked who's there. He's like, all right, if you're ready for the knock knock joke, I said who was there a while ago. You didn't answer me. But anyway, I'm waiting. So hopefully this isn't like the kid I had to kick off yesterday. <laughs> that was hilarious oh, too. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, Vandy, if you want the MCX, uh, you can, we'll try to find you one, but they're, I don't know when they're coming in. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm still waiting on the knock, knock joke. Come on, man. Come on. Let's spit it out. So anyway, I, I don't know if this will be worth telling or not, but so the M and P 45 C is. I don't know if you mean the HK 45C or the M&P 45C, but the M&P 45C, I believe, is like $5.99 new, right about there-ish. And uh, all right, I'm ready for the knock-knock joke. He says, all right, I said, who's there? He said, Maura Healy. Maura Healy, who? And someone's saying, you have to rough up the nine-year-old. <laughs> you had to rough up the nine-year-old. <laughs> uh, Maura Healy, who? And I'm waiting. He's typing. Um, this ought to be good. I don't know if I'll be able to say it, but anyway, well, the HK 45 compact, I don't know yet. So we'll see how much that is once tomorrow he brings it into inventory, but I know it's in the, in the house. Can you look that up on our website? See if we have the HK 45 compact on our website, just search it and see what the price is. And uh, yeah, it is a good price gun, the 299 if you want a good home defense or good starter. 
All right, Maury Healy, who? The Attorney General. Hmm. I guess we're being watched by the Attorney General. Hey, welcome to the show. I don't know what the heck. Uh, Is uh, that my cue to leave? I don't know. I don't know. 89577. Maybe that's my cue to leave. What? 89577. 89577 for the HK45 Compact, and I believe it's the Heli model, which has three mags and night sights. And it's available. And it's available. So I am here to buy a gun. All right. Well, who buy one. We're ready to, to ready to go. Oh, on? the Mar Healy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who wants a link and, to uh, it? What uh, chat they on? What's that? Who wants a link to it? What chat? It was on the Facebook. Oh no, it was on the YouTube chat. Okay. The well, no, actually, the guy. One guy was interested in the HK45 was on Facebook, and the YouTube was the MMP45 Compact. So. Anyway, all right. I'm I'm glad you're entertaining yourself, buddy. I'm sorry I'm missing it. I wish I could participate in the the hilarity of the moment, but it's just not coming through on text. I'm sure if we were here, we could do this in person. It could be like a two-man act. We'd be like Laurel and Hardy, and we'd make it happen, and everybody would, would be dying. I just I just can't make it happen on the thing. It's just not the. It's too much time's going by and energy and all that. Fun. Whatever. All right, so I thought Healy shot a bullet of bourbon at the chart room in Katamit and sent it to her table on the Saturday after her assault weapon ban in 2016. I would not... Oh, you bought Healy a shot of bullet bourbon at the chart room in Katamit and sent it to her table at the Saturday after her assault weapon ban. Interesting. I wonder if she drank it, but probably not. She probably got uh, offended. So, yeah, who knows? That's interesting. Come out of here before he included I say a note on the cocktail napkin for. Uh, you what? He included a note on the cocktail napkin for. Awesome. Then she really probably didn't didn't uh, drink it, but. Yeah, probably. Anyway. Not. So you could probably have spent that money in better places, Bob. But my hat's off to you. It's a classy thing to do. Anyway, I can see this conversation going downhill quick. So. She was clueless. He says, um, I'm going to sign off for another day, get home, pump Arlo's stomach out, get all the plastic bags out or do whatever I got to do with him. And uh, I'm going to get on my conference call at 730 with my lawyer and hopefully um, we'll, we'll uh, have some good news for you guys tomorrow. I don't know yet, but hopefully you read that article I posted the other day and it was... Uh, and it will, you know, head in the right direction. That's what I'm really hoping. That's what we're praying. That's what we're rooting for. And the store is finally ready for occupants. And so we are ready, willing, and able to open the doors as soon as we possibly can. And so let's see how it goes. You guys have a wonderful night. I appreciate you signing on with us. And if you need anything, give us a call. And anyway... <laughs> We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. double stack and these guns are really cool because one gunsmith makes them from start to finish that worked out
works pretty well. So I'm very impressed with it. I can't wait to get some more rounds down range. So thanks for tuning in.